We don't always luck out when we're multiplying or dividing using standard notation. Sometimes, in fact most of the time, we end up with something that has to be converted from almost scientific notation to very obvious scientific notation. If our final answer is not in scientific notation, we must convert it In example 1, we have 6.7 times 10 to the negative 6th multiplied to 5.2 times 10 to the negative 3. First, we multiply the leading numbers in both parentheses and we get 34.84. When we multiply matching bases, in this case our tens, we add the exponents to get negative nine. From here, we must go from almost scientific notation to an A that's between one and ten. We do this by shifting our decimal place to the left one place. Now we can rewrite our almost scientific notation value and since we shift our de shifted our decimal point to the left one place, that means we have to make a bigger number smaller. So we have to add one to our exponent. Let's go ahead and rewrite it with our new value, 3.484 times 10 to the negative 8. And that's your final answer in scientific notation, where A is between 1 and 10, and the exponent was found using standard exponent properties. In example two, we're asked to divide 2.352 times 10 to the negative 6 by 8.4 times 10 to the negative 2. 2.352 divided by 8.4 is 0 0.28. And we have to remember that when we divide bases with exponents, matching bases with exponents, we get times 10 to the negative 6 minus negative 2. We now need to make A be between 1 and 10, and we do this by shifting our decimal place to the right one place. We now made a small number bigger, and so we have to subtract one overall from our exponents. This is similar or the same as dividing by a multiple of 10. And we get 2.8 times 10 to the negative 6 plus 2, which is negative 4, minus 1, which is negative 5.